Krishna Raghavendran from class 6. I am from SP Robotics Gopalapuram. I am going to present the app which I made for Code and App Challenge. To make our kids expert in mathematics, I have developed this mathematical game which will help them to sharpen their brain. So now let me start showing the demo. Now let me show the demo of my app called Speedy Math. So now let's start playing this game. This is a math game. So now there are two topics, operations that is addition, subtraction, multiplication and division and also number names. Let's do operations first. You need to choose the level. There are four levels. I'll choose level one. So you need to answer these questions from the four options given below and if for every correct question the coins will get increased by three and there is also a timer that is 120 seconds or two minutes so you need to finish all of these as fast as you can you can also pause the game now I'm resuming so the first question is 16 plus 17 the answer is 33 it makes a sound and it also shows correct at the top. Now 18 minus 9. So you see that the coins are increasing. 20 minus 7, 30. 9 plus 3, 12. 10 plus 2, 12. 18 plus 17, 35. 19 minus 19, 0. 13 minus 11, 2. Now let me put a wrong answer. I'll put 12. It says wrong and it makes some kind of sound. 20 minus 20 is 0. Now we have 36 coins. 14 minus 14 is 0. 19 plus 11. 19 minus 7, 12. 19 minus 19, 0. 7 plus 1, 8. 11 plus 1, 12. 20 minus 7, 13. I'll put the wrong one. Now we have only 15 seconds. Now the game is over as the timer is also over. So we got 28 questions correct and 2 questions wrong and 84 coins. So now let us see the other level, second level. So this time it asks addition and subtraction but some larger numbers from 1 to 500. So now again you have 2 minutes to do it. So 476 minus 476, 0. I'll put the wrong one. Yeah, now let us see level 3. It's wrong. So in level 3, it asks us even multiplication. See, 4 into 4, 60, 20 into 5, 100. Now let us see the next level, 4th level. It also asks division in 4th level, 50 divided by 50, 1. And then some larger numbers. So now I am going to show you the topic number names. This has three levels. Let us do level 1. So you need to write the number by reading the number name. So this is easy because it is level 1. So 8. Even this has 2 minutes and you will get 3 coins if you do it correctly. 1. 853 
Thirty-eight. This time I'll put a wrong one. Twenty-three. But it's ninety. It says wrong and it makes a sound. Four. Three hundred and five. Two. Ninety-nine. Five. Three hundred and five. Thirty-six. Four hundred and two. Four hundred and thirty-five. Four hundred and two. Seven hundred and seventy-two. Eight hundred and seven. Two. Three hundred and five. Eight hundred and seven. Twenty-one. Fifty-eight. Nine hundred and ninety-nine. Eight. Eight, ten, eight hundred and fifty-three. Now I'll put the wrong one. So now we have only fifteen seconds, and we have got ninety-three coins. Eight hundred and nine, four, nine hundred and ninety-nine, nine hundred and two, eight. and the game is over and we got 36 correct and two wrong and 108 coins so now let us see level 2 of number names now it asks us some bigger numbers 62000 9500 now let us go let us do Level three of number names. Now it has more bigger numbers like millions and billions. So three billion seventy six thousand two hundred and sixty seven. So it is a wrong number. One hundred and third, one hundred thirty-seven thousand five hundred sixty-three. It's correct. Ten million seventy thousand two. It's I put the wrong answer. Now let me put uh, the wrong answer again. So now if you go to scores you can see the total coins you got and also you can see the high scores So anyone can do this can use the app and if they get a high score the high number of coins their name will come here So first you need to go to settings and put your name here and then after you save the name the same name will come in the scores if you get high score so this will be visible in all the mobiles so anyone in the world can get a high score and everyone can see who got and how much in their mobiles now here you can see a different mobile in which my App is installed. Let me click on scores, and now you can see the same data. Who got the highest score, and then for every level. Now let me show you the coding which I made in App Inventor. The app. So now let me show what all components are used the types of blocks and everything so this is the first screen i have used many horizontal and vertical arrangements and tiny db to store the coins and many other things 
so this is screen one in which there are three buttons like like play scores and settings the next screen is the game screen here we play the game so for this i have used tiny db and then even tiny web db to store the highest score so if someone got the highest score then it will store to tiny web db so that tiny web db can be shared to all the mobiles so now let me show the logic which i used to ask the questions and if they do it correct they'll get coins so first i have kept a procedure called ask question so there's a variable called btn it is a random integer from 1 to 4 i use this variable to to get which button should be correct in these four buttons it which are which will be down which button should have the correct answer for that i'm using this variable next i'm checking the level so if global level is equal to 1 i'm getting the level from tiny db then it will set this variable to random integer from 1 to 2 that this is this variable is to set the operation plus or minus which should it ask then i'm setting global num1 to an integer from 1 to 20 that is a number and then global num2 to a number from 1 to 20. next I'm setting the operation. I'm keeping a variable called operation. And if global name, which is a random integer, is 1, then it will set it to plus. Here you can see it. If it is 2, then minus. Next, I'm checking if global operation is plus. Then there's a variable called answer. So it will set the answer variable to num1 plus num2. Num1 and num2 are random integers from 1 to 20. If the operation is minus, it will set global answer to num1 minus num2 if it is subtraction. Next, there is a label called Q. So this label will show the question. Here you can see the label. So this will show the question to the user. So I'm setting the label to global num1. That is the random integer, a number. And then the operation, they should know what they should do. Plus or minus. And then global num2. And I am giving space so that they can understand Next, at, a, at last, I'm putting an equal to. Next, O1, O2, and o, O3, O4 are four buttons which have the options. So, I'm setting O1, O2, O3, and O4 to a random integer from 1 to 20 to see the options. Then, I need to put the correct answer in one button. So for that, I'm using the btn variable, which I said before. It's a random integer from 1 to 4. So if it is 1, then the answer, it will set the button 1. That is the O1. So the button will be set to the answer, the correct answer. Next, if it is 2, then the second button will have the correct answer. So this global answer, I have set it here. If it is minus, then it should store it in answer. So like that I am doing for BTN3 and BTN4. So every time the correct button, the correct answer button will be randomized. Like that I am doing for level 2. But this time, as you can see, 
I am setting the random integer from 1 to 500. So when the levels are going up, I am setting it to more difficult numbers. Like 1000 and here you can see 1200. And then let's see how I check the answer if it is correct. Here you can see the buttons O3. So when they click a button, it should check if the text of the button is equal to the answer. So if the button has the answer and they clicked it, then it should set the coins to coins plus 3 so that the coins will get increased by 3. And then it will play a sound. And if it is wrong, that is the else condition, then it will play the wrong noise and it will set wrong question to wrong question plus one. So I'm doing like that for all the four buttons and checking if the button has the correct answer. Next I'm storing if they get a high score then it will get it will get it will get stored in tiny web db the name of the person who did and then the score he got so that everyone can see in their mobile the high scores now let me explain the logic for the other game number name so here you can see a list of questions so if the level is 1, then it will set global questions to all these questions. And here the answers are there respectively. So for the first question, the answer is in the first index of this list. So these questions are randomized. Next, after setting the questions, to ask the question, I'm first setting textbox1.text, that is the text box in which they type the answer, to empty, so that after every question, the text box gets empty. Then I'm set, setting the current question to pick a random item from list global questions. So this is the global questions list. So it will pick up pick a random question like for example 99 and then 1 so it will pick a random question and keep it as the current question and for the answer it should get the index of the question and then the same index has the answer next I'm setting label 1 that is the questions label where it will show the question to the global question this variable so that is my logic next after they click the submit button submit answer button it will check if textbox one dot text equals to global answer so what they have typed is equal to the answer then it will set coins to coins plus three and it will play the correct sound if it is wrong, then it will set wrong to wrong plus one. The same logic which I used in the before level. 